saw an intermittent signal that indicated we were bouncing. However, however, we currently do not have signal from the spacecraft. The space network tracking stations in Canberra and Goldstone are still searching for the primary signal. What do we see? Boy, the Deep Space Network did such a fantastic job for us the night of the uh, Spirit and Opportunity landings. They really saved us. You know the old proverb that if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, did it really fall? Same thing can be said for the landing. Just such a fantastic job those guys did for us. The Deep Space Network comprises three equidistantly spaced deep space communications complexes around the world. One here in California, one in Canberra, Australia, and one in Madrid, Spain. The antennas at the tracking complexes provide telecommunications to and from interplanetary missions. That is, they provide telecommunications with telecommands to the spacecraft, providing uploaded commands to tell the spacecraft what to do. Even though we're widely separated around the globe, the DSN has a family feeling to it. We, we work together, we share each other's pains, we share each other's successes. We have the common goal of returning the data from deep space. The ops room here at the Jet Propulsion Lab can be viewed as a centralized point of the deep space network. All activity related to spacecraft tracking is monitored within this room. The ops chief and their personnel staff the ops room 24-7 in order to ensure that the sites have all the necessary information required to successfully support these spacecraft tracking activities. The beginning of uh, the DSN's uh, creation were the Apollo program. Uh, we did have a small tracking network then, nothing of the grand scale we have today. The current missions include uh, Mars Odyssey, Mars Global Surveyor, uh, the Mars Exploration Rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, a Stardust, Still Track Voyager, or Tracking Cassini, or they're finally getting to Saturn. The Deep Space Network is a fabulously sensitive instrument that is used to track three dozen spacecraft per year. In addition to the telemetry and command which enables these missions, the network acquires radiometric data that's used by navigators for everything from pinpoint landings on Mars to the very precise burns that place spacecraft into orbits around other planets. Also, the DSN's radar system at Goldstone is used to characterize the surfaces of other planetary objects, landing sites on Mars, or near-Earth asteroids. The, the basic concept of a Mars network is uh, really to take the DSN to Mars uh, and by building an infrastructure of orbiters at Mars that, that can provide the same kinds of telecommunication services that the DSN does from Earth. The DSN has a tremendous heritage and in future years with a combination of radio arrays, laser communications and orbital relays, missions can expect to return tens, hundreds, maybe even a thousand times more data than they return today. In my opinion, the Deep Space Network is absolutely the most critical link in the Mars program. All those wonderful images coming back from the Mars spacecraft every day. If it weren't for the Deep Space Network, kids and the general public wouldn't have all that. <laughs>